custodian killer from graveyard how are you welcome to frozen corpse studios and we're gonna have a little tour of uh my domain here <laughs> You really just use this instrument here. This guitar I used, and I still use it. It's an Araya Pro 2, somewhere in the 80s. And then the other graveyard instrument is this one. This is a 1970 VSG, Gibson SG, totally modified by me completely. Uh, it's uh, a porn shop for $90. <laughs> And it's been on all the recordings that we've done, so it's still it's one of my favorites. So these are the two main graveyard guitars. Sick. All the rest of this is just my personal collection of stuff that I use. Here's my vinyl collection. Woo, look at that. Of course, uh, you can't see because I have so much black there. But <laughs> the ones with the black are some of my great metal albums, you know, which I posted many on your website. Right on. And uh, yeah, it's, that's it. You know, records, tapes, videos, CDs, eight tracks. You know, the whole all that. Able. Yeah. All vintage pedals. Uh, you know, and I, I wire them up, modify them myself. This this is a pretty massive uh, system for just recording. It doesn't leave the house. And, Sick. And this is Frozen Corpse Studio here. Basically, it's just uh, I record on uh, Logic Pro Nine. Uh, three mixing boards. I do very old school. Everything's really old school and primitive. So everything for the graveyard albums is done right here. The last two r works were right here in this room. Basically, this is it. You're looking at it. Yep. Basically, these are just uh, some of the th stuff I saved here. Flyers that I made to promote the first album. You know, the first demo. You know, I would. Just go to the library. I sit in the library in the children's department because that's where the photo machine was. And right. I would just take pieces of pictures and stick them with glue. Real old school. No computer made stuff. You know what I mean? Right Photocopy on. it. Shrink it down. Make cassette covers. Uh, I'd make these flyers. I'd go to the city. I'd drop off hundreds in the streets. Yeah. Know, mail them out. And I've seen and I kept some of the stuff. Some of those flyers have been printed in old zines and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, Wild Rags. This is when I was selling my tapes through Wild Rags, and I, I was promoting it. And I would, everything was just done guerrilla homemade. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. It was never any big time record company or anything. That's how we did it. This is a good one. I went to a uh, <coughs> religious religious supply catalog. <laughs> and uh, and I had them make vacation dinner at the morgue cassette stickers, you know, to put to stick on the cassettes. Right. You know, like songs like Chewed Priest. Uh, all right. Okay. So these are the original. Um... These are the last two recordings, the, co the the covers, and this is how I made it. I did the same thing. I uh, went to the library. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. This is uh, the the actual <laughs> cover of Sixth Extinction. That's the front cover. And it's just, uh, I made it myself, you know. And if you look library. close, you can see it's, it's collage. It's a collage taped and glued, you know. And then I took a picture, turned it digital, fixed it up a little on the computer, and that ended up being the cover. So that's good. And uh, as far as a back cover, this one didn't get, I don't think it got a back cover. I think we did the back, oh, wait, wait, it did get a back cover. Yes, it did. We, there's actually two back covers, but this is uh, this is the back cover with the song titles, 15 songs. That is sick. Yep, that's the original cover. Uh, I ended up making uh, ad additional covers for the CD that are different. So, Opus, this was the one, this is the cover that was made for the vinyl, which I, I even have a copy myself down here. So this came out, and the vinyl was an EP. It was... Uh, it was just uh, 20 minutes, I think, or something like that. On 12 inch? Yeah, yeah, 12 inch, yep. There we go. This is the uh, back cover, or the inside cover, because it was a split. It was a split with Raz's band. Right. Um, so this is the other side of the split, the front and the inner cover. It was a gatefold. <laughs> That's uh, St. Peter being tormented by demons. I thought that was cool. <laughs> 
Dr. Opus V. That's yeah. what that picture is. Yeah, Saint, I think it's Saint, Saint Michael or somebody like that. He's tormented by demons. And that's that, you know? <laughs> no, it's super detailed. Yeah. This is actually from a heating oil company. <laughs> it's a, fly, uh, a vintage flyer from the oh, uh, okay. some, some oil company. I was like, wow, that's great. That's an oil company? Looks like an album cover. So that was good. And it's that, so this is the vinyl. And then uh, we came out with it on homemade CD uh, full length. And uh, that's, so if you want to put that, I'll give you a good piece of little, uh, little joke to laugh at too. The, the Slab Fest, was it the Slab Fest? No, it was this one. It was vacation dinner at the morgue. The story of this is pretty funny. These eyes in this cover, that's, if you turn, they're upside down. If you turn this the other way, that's Dan Aykroyd from the movie Coneheads. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. The story of this is really funny. Uh, we were coming back from partying in Manhattan one day. Yeah. Uh, like 6 o'clock in the morning. Coming home, we were totally hung over on this plane, uh, uh, train station in Mineola, I think, or somewhere like yeah. that. Some place like that. And some old man comes over to me. And we were so hung over. We, we were like, oh, what? You know, this guy was just cool. He was talking. And then, and goes, how you doing? Good morning. You know, and he goes, uh, he goes, yeah, I just came back from an identification at the morgue. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you came back from a what? A vacation dinner at the morgue? He goes, no, identification uh -huh. at the morgue. And I looked at Raz and I was like, it's the it. title of the fucking uh, uh. demo, man. Vacation dinner at the morgue. And this guy, you know, so we got it from this uh. old man. It's just a misunderstanding. It was great. That's not ceasing, man, until he dies. And his stomach is full of the dust of the grave. I told you to stay away from that graveyard. When we went to go make Opus B, I just, just got done with this surgery. And it just healed. And it's the first time I touched the guitar. You put him all over. We found out Lemmy died. Right. And he's like, dude. He's like, we gotta let's let's make this album now. I said, okay, right here in this room. And I put on the drum machine, and I played the guitar for about two hours straight. Just played yeah. first time. You know, stiff. Right. It sounded like you know. I thought it sounded like shit personally, because you know it's how you feel when you're playing yourself. Right. Sometimes. Anyway, yeah. Uh, we we listened to it back then we went through it and we cut pieces that we wanted out of it threw out everything else and then we jungled it all in different orders <laughs> like just threw it up in the air literally yeah. and strung it together and that is opus v it was one take <laughs> through the whole thing if you wow. think about yeah one take and it plays like one, one and it plays long, like you think yeah. we planned it but really in reality it was totally made by the cosmos because we just we, we switched the parts around the levels were all different didn't matter and then we filled it in from there and dubbed in from there yeah and filled it in and that was opus v same thing uh in a sense for sixth extinction which came after which is uh just just now uh, we did the same thing. We we just I just played one time, played, chopped it, mixed it once again, scrambled it up. No, you know, didn't keep it in any order. Yeah. And then strung it together, filled it in, and that became Six Extinction. So it's very unorthodox to yeah, really make sure. an album. For did you sure. even have the riffs like in your Nothing mind? Planned. Or you just Not jammed? one thing planned. Not wow. everything exactly right off the cuff made right then and there, and that was it. One take. It was no. That's sick. Yeah, as opposed to the beginning when we used to actually rehearse a song, you know. And right. It, this was like completely opposite. We did not rehearse songs, and I liked the way it created itself. To be pro perfectly honest with you, I think yeah. that's the yeah. good thing about it. You know, it just did. You know, it was a chance. You know, we were like, you know, we we thought it sounded good, and it, and uh, then once we filled it in the storyboard, that's Raz's department. Okay. He uh, he's the philosopher, and he does the concepts. I provide the guitar and the, and the rhythms, yeah. I do the bass, he does his guitar, he played guitar in both of these as well, and then sang, and then we uh, worked collectively with samples, because we, we made these samples, and uh, we were really inspired by the samples, because oh, the samples sure. help tell the story that yes. we don't want to like do on our own, we'd rather have movies represent little snippets of yeah. this and that. Yeah. Opus was more about um, government corruption and that kind of stuff, and you know the oligarchs and uh, 
the one percenters and right. all that stuff. It's more of a political uh, society thing. Sixth Extinction is obviously about the climate, and with coupled with that. Right. So, and it is going to uh, be another album that is going to come out, and we are working on the concept now, and it's going to be based on something different. Than, okay. It's going to be the next step after Sixth Extinction. <laughs> okay. So, uh, without we really don't have the the thing to say what it is right now, but right. It, it'll be probably something about after people. You Very know, cool. Because you know, this obviously there's going to be no humans on Earth by 2030, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs>